mask on. Mask on. Mask on. Mask on. All right. Today we're going to be comparing a poem to song lyrics. And we're going to focus on setting and character development. Both of these texts that we're going to be looking at today and tomorrow have very strong settings and very strong character development. The characters in both texts, the poem today, the song tomorrow, wear masks. A little connection to the song there. Richard Corey is a poem by Edwin Arlington Robinson. We're going to read that today and we're going to compare it to uh, the song lyrics that we're going to read tomorrow. The song is called Eleanor Rigby, sung by the Beatles and written by Paul McCartney. Uh, both texts are great character sketches. They take deep looks at personalities. Each tells the story of someone who wears a mask um, for the world. At the same time, they're dealing with very tough emotions. As we're reading, I want you to think about what we already know about masks. Think about Lord of the Flies. Uh, the hunters, led by Jack, put on masks of clay and pig's blood and covered their faces um, and hid their civilized selves. They hid those little kids that grew up in England and had manners and thought of other people and said, thank you and please and yes, sir, and no, sir. Uh, that type of behavior was what they were used to. That was civilized society. Now they were in an uncivilized society and that kind of behavior was dangerous. It could actually get them killed. So in order for them to change who they were, they put those masks on. Um, so I want you to think about that. Uh, it, the masks hid that part of themselves and they actually allowed the hunters to go from little polite kids to savages who were able to kill and survive day after day after day. Um, so masks hide us from the world, right? In this poem and in tomorrow's song, I want you to ask yourself three questions about the masks. What is the character's mask? Okay, sometimes we don't, um, in poetry and songs, we don't always speak in literal language. We use figurative language. So what are their figurative masks? And second question, what is that mask hiding? Why are they wearing a mask for the world? And then thirdly, um, those questions kind of tie into it. What is the mask and why? Why wear a mask? Jack wore a mask to become more savage. Why is Richard Corey wearing a mask in today's poem? Why is Eleanor Rigby wearing a mask? Uh, and why is another character, Father Mackenzie, wearing a mask in the song that we're going to look at on Thursday? Ask yourself those questions. If you have any more questions that you want to ask me, you know how to get a hold of me.